It's 3 a.m. and this is my fourth cup of coffee. Yes, I'm crazy. Hello, fellow mega lovers. How are you guys doing today? This is probably going to be my longest video ever because I decided to just go ahead and do it. Today, we're going to be doing my entire eyeshadow palette collection. I didn't even realize how bad it was. I just love eyeshadow so much. Eyeshadow palettes are like my favorite thing when it comes to makeup and I mean, go figure. I'm honestly a little bit overwhelmed, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on in. Let's not blabber anymore. I also, I mean, I have the palettes behind me, but I also have some off to the side as well. So we're just going to go ahead and take it one by one. I'm going to try not to talk too much for each palette, so jumping right in. Okay, so first I have the Melissa Michelle and Ulta collaboration. This was actually the second eyeshadow palette that they did together, which looks like this. And I don't reach for this that often. I did like it when I used it. And it's kind of like more of like a cool tone mauve palette. It has some pressed glitter, which is definitely not my personal preference anymore. But Melissa Michelle is super, super sweet. And then next I have the Profusion Cosmetics Temptress palette, which is kind of like some neutrals, some cool tones, a little pop of purple and blue. Profusion has really good quality for their price. Okay, next I have the original palette that Melissa Michelle did with Ulta which is a lot more neutral. I definitely don't reach for this one very often anymore. It was definitely something I bought more as just like supporting someone who I enjoy. I have the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette, which I love the quality of this one. I have not reached into it in a while, but the mattes are super soft and easy to blend. I think it overall is a really cute palette. I have the Makeup Revolution and Emily Noel The Once palette, which again, I do not reach for nearly enough. Honestly, I could say that for so many palettes here. I think I'm going to slightly do a declutter as well as I go through some of these. But yes, I do like this palette. I just don't use it as much because it's a little bit more subtle. Okay, so next I have the BH Cosmetics Foiled Eyes 28 Color Palette. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter this one just because I rarely ever use it. I realize I have like a bronzer swatch on my hand. Just living its best life. I have the BH Cosmetics Times Carly Bible Palette. This was the second one that they did. Here's what it looks like. Again, a pretty palette, but I just never, I don't know. I used to love neutrals, so I bought so many neutral palettes, and now I rarely wear them, or I have formulas that I like more. And then I have the Ace Beauté Classical Paradise palette, which I really do not like the formula in their palettes that are this size, like these. Um, they had four different palettes that were like this, and the formula is just, just not my favorite, even though the color stories are so pretty. This is like a really stunning kind of fall palette. And then I have the Lime Crime Venus XL, which I love the color story of this one. I think it's super pretty. And I like the mattes in here, but the shimmers, I shouldn't even call them shimmers. They're lackluster to be kind. That's that's my version of kind. Okay, next I have the Certified Destiny palette, and I do have a full review on all of the certified palettes, but this one was definitely one of my least favorites. I felt like this one was not as pigmented as some of the others, so I don't reach for that as often. And then I have the Dynasty palette from Certify as well, which is cute because it has like the different little color stories in each row. I do like that one. And then I have the Zodiac palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights, and I love the packaging on this one. I kind of want to depot this and keep the packaging and like my, make my own palette from it because I just wasn't impressed with the quality of these shadows, unfortunately. And then I have the Violet Voss The Rainbow palette. There's like a sticker on there. I don't know where that's from. And I bought this on sale, and it definitely is a regret just because like I don't have any room in my life for this kind of palette. I think I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that as well. All right, next I have the original Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, which just looks like this. It still smells so strongly of peaches after so many years, and it's cute. And then I have the Ace Beauté Slice of Paradise, which is one of the ones I was talking about before. This is kind of a cute, I guess it's a little bit more of a rainbow palette. I didn't include it in my rainbow palettes video because I wasn't thinking of this one, but it is definitely a rainbow palette. But the formula is really hard to work with in my opinion. And then I have the original P. Louise palette, and I did like this one. Definitely a little bit more of like a warm, neutral palette. Then I have the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasure palette. I think this was the first time I ever tried Dose of Colors, and the foiled shadows in here are so intense. It's crazy. 
All right, next I have the Sydney Grace Cosmetics Autumn's Rain Palette, and this is a nice palette as far as formula goes. Definitely feel like you have to set your base for this one for the mattes to blend, but it is a little bit deeper than what I typically go for, like, my neutral looks. Like, all the shimmers are on the deeper side except for this silvery shade, which is still not quite super light. So I think that this is a nice palette, but it's not exactly my personal preference. And then I have the Kat Von D, what was this, the Divine Palette. And I bought this, like, right before Kat Von D got canceled. So I don't think I ever, <laughs> ever used it once. I'm a mess. I know I got it on like super sale and it's pretty like it's a cute color story, but I haven't used it. And then I have the Tartlet Original In Bloom palette. Is that what this was called? No, that was the one that came next. This is the OG Tartlet. Here's what it looks like. And I did used to love this palette. I've, I've made dips in quite a few of these pans, but I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that because that one is super old. And then I have the Lorac Matte Palette, which again is very old, and I rarely ever reach for this. Like, this was definitely a regret. I don't know why I felt like I needed that. And then I also have the Tarte Man Eater Palette, which is another neutral palette. Next I have the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Visionary Palette, and this was... I don't know what the name of this one is exactly. It was supposed to be the dupe for the Norvina palette, but it looked so much prettier online. And when I got it in person, it was definitely disappointing. I think I tried to do a look with this and it was very lackluster and I ended up buying the Norvina palette on sale. So I think I'm gonna declutter that. And then I also have the Bad Habit. I thought I decluttered this already. What is this doing here? This is the Bad Habit Aphrodite palette. I thought the Bad Habit palettes were bad terrible actually I did not like the quality of these at all so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that again I thought I decluttered that I swear I did I had the Beach Cosmetics Carly Bible palette the original again a neutral palette that I don't need I feel like I had all my palettes kind of in their like little set areas and I was just living my life not even thinking about half of them and honestly I really do just use a small portion of my palettes when I look at them as an entirety which is definitely a waste and I do feel some regret and it makes me want to be a smarter shopper in the future although I have had a lot of these for a long time. This is the BH Cosmetics Times It's My Ray Ray palette. Alright next I have the Colourpop Ooh La La palette which just looks like this and I remember using it and not loving it, but I think I should definitely give it a second chance. Next I have the Miss Bella times BH Cosmetics palette, which I definitely regretted buying because I felt like the pigmentation on this was super lackluster and it was just not a good palette overall. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. And then I have the Saucebox Cosmetics Secret Garden palette. And Saucebox, if you have not heard, they're actually a mess. Um... They did, like, this, like, subscription service thing. What was it? It was, like, this membership thing. And they never fulfilled their promises. They have a new brand now, which I can't remember the name, but I've seen a lot of people talking about them. And I'm just not, I'm not about it after learning what I learned. So even though I have this palette, I will not be buying anything else from them. And honestly, even this palette, like, it was okay, but it was definitely a lot softer than what I expected it to be. Like, this light purple I was so excited about, and it's, like, not that great of a formula. And then I have the... So actually, I think I'm going to declutter that. Even though it's cute, I just know that it's not a brand I really want to talk about on my channel. And then I have the Flamingo palette from Violet Boss, which I'm also going to be decluttering. <laughs> because I have a bunch of palettes from Violet Boss and I like the formula on most of them. But this one, I just feel like it's it just doesn't do anything for me. So there's that. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of hate on this video because oh, I'm a mess. I have these two palettes from Morphe from forever ago, and I'm going to declutter those. Those were like the 25A and 25B or something. And then I have the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy palette. I feel like I'm getting through the boring palettes first, and like the ones that are behind me are the ones I use more. They're a little bit more fun. I got a lot of these ones I'm talking about right now are in my box of older palettes. So I did like the formula of this, but again, it just doesn't do anything for me. I think I'm going to declutter it. <laughs> And then I have the Tartis Pro palette, which just looks like this. And here's what it looks like. Super boring. 
All right, next I have the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette from forever ago. And I actually did really like the quality of this one. I thought that this was all around a really good palette. It was like $15. This is the dupe for MAC Nylon. There's a caramel and mustardy brown shade. And overall, I just really liked this palette. So I'm going to hold on to that one. Have another Bad Habit palette, which is going to go. And then I have the Sigma Smokescreen palette. I can't remember. I think that I bought this one. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it came in like a little mystery bag. But I literally never used it. Like every single imprint is still on there. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass that one along as well. Then I have this palette from Makeup Revolution, which is the Division palette. And I did try and make this one work as well. And again, I just feel like this formula or like these palettes in general are a little bit lackluster. So that was a pass for me. So I'm going to declutter that. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I knew I had this at some point, but I like completely lost it. This is my Natasha Nona Mini Sunset palette. I didn't even include this in the video I just did for Natasha Nona. It's a little tiny baby. Wow. Wow. Okay. And then next I have the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. And if you've never seen it before, here's what it looks like. I honestly at this point could care less about it. I'm sorry I'm being so negative. I just feel like I'm at this point where there's like palettes that I own that I absolutely love and adore and want to use all the time. And I regret some of the purchases I've made over the years. So this one I've kind of kept because it feels like a monumental moment in makeup history, but I don't use it anymore. All right, next I have the Kylie Cosmetics Holiday 2016 palette, which is literally what it's called. Super easy to remember the time. And I actually remember using this for the first time, I'm pretty sure whenever I just had my son, I think I even took a picture a long time ago of like getting ready with a newborn and I had this palette out. Gosh, that was forever ago, but this does feel a little bit sentimental, so I'm going to keep that one. All right, I've got another little box of palettes here, and then we will start jumping into what's behind me. So I have, this is a newer one. This is the Kaleidos Escape Pod, and I did like the first look that I did with this, but I haven't played with it again since I need to, but I've just been super busy, so that one is really pretty. And then next I have the Francesca Tolot palette with Ofer Cosmetics, and... I thought that the look that I did with this was really nice, but overall it's definitely not my favorite shadow formula, but it's, I'm going to hold on to that one for now. Okay, next I have the Alter Ego Daydream palette, and I love all of the other palettes I have from Alter Ego, but this one just fell short for me. I just didn't like it all that much, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. All right, next I have the Meet Matador palette from The Bomb. I used to love The Bomb, especially these palettes. I have all three of them. And I haven't used this one that much in a long time, but I still still like it for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I don't know. For some reason, the bomb packaging just gets me. And then I have this palette, which is called the Mermaid Palette. And it was by KG Beauty. And I got this forever ago. I think this was like my first PR from an indie brand. And I don't even think that's their name anymore. I think they changed it, but it's such a cute palette. You see the little mermaid there. And then all of the shades are in like the little seashells. And it says, call me on my shell phone. Fantastic. It's just very, very, it's just very cute. You've got kelp, vitamin C. So I loved this. And even though like it's not available, the brand, I, I think they changed their name and they don't make this anymore and stuff, but I still it just, it has like a special place in my heart. Next I have the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette, which just looks like that. And then next I have the Joy Lorraine Paradise Palette, which looks like this. I mean, it is quite large, but the formula of this was really easy to work with. And some of these metallics are super intense, especially this blue right here. Okay, so next I have the Candy Licious Palette from Bombshell Lashes, and they used to be called that. And then they changed their name to Bombshell Cosmetica. And then they like completely shut down. And unfortunately, I think they were being super shady. I didn't know about it at the time, but I feel like a lot of people are having issues with them, like not sending orders, not replying to comments, like all kinds of things. So I did buy this palette and then they sent me some in PR and I'm going to be getting rid of all of it because for one, they're super shady. For two, <laughs> they're not even a brand anymore. Like they completely deactivated their social media. So even though I liked this palette, I definitely don't need it. I feel like I'm going to give the palettes that I have from them to my little sister. I think she would have fun playing with them as like just play makeup. There's what that one looks like. 
And then I have a palette here from Adept Cosmetics, which they used to do like little palettes forever ago. Now they have like their own shadows and stuff. And I never super loved like the little marbled shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. And then I have the Royalty palette from Glamlight Cosmetics, which looks like this. And I'm looking at it now and I'm like, is that a pressed glitter? Because I didn't even realize that. I hate pressed glitters. <laughs> But overall, this color story is really pretty. I just love the pops of purple in here. The shade Glamour is gorgeous. Okay, next I have a palette from Deck of Scarlet, and this is their edition number two. Can't remember who this was with because I think they collaborate and they're like a subscription service, and they've got like the little lip products there and then the little face and eye products there. And then next I have a palette from Makeup Slave. This is the Confessions of a Cancer palette, and here's what it looks like. I did feel like this palette was overall really pretty. A lot of the sh shades are similar, like these neutral shades. <laughs> but again, Makeup Slave is one of those brands where I don't really know what's happening with them. They haven't posted in like a year, but they're a cool indie brand. I'm going to hold on to it. I hope that they're doing okay. Now we can start pulling from behind me. Oh my gosh. Oh, here I have a Morphe palette, and this is the 39A. Oh man, oh, that's such a mess. So there's what it looks like. And honestly, I never used this palette for an eye look. And I wanted to so badly. Like I thought this was the prettiest palette, but I just never made time for it, which is absolutely ridiculous. But at this point, I'm kind of over Morphe as a brand. So I don't really like feel the need to keep my products from them, except for the ones that I truly, truly love. Like this next one, I think this is the 39S. I'm gonna keep this one because I think it's the prettiest pinky purple palette but I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the other one. Okay, next I have the Just Peachy Mattes palette from Too Faced. The packaging on this one is super, super cute. I have the Physician's Formula, the Gold Vault, and I was excited about this because I thought it looked like super cool textured shadows, but honestly, I feel like I have higher quality formulas if I was going for these shades, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. And then I have the Emily Edit the Needs palette, which just looks like this, and I feel like I have the ones and I don't really need the needs, so I'm thinking I'm going to declutter that one. I think my mom would actually really like that. Next I have the Be Perfect Carnival palette, which is absolutely stunning, definitely keeping that. I almost missed this one, but I have the other P. Louise palette, I think this was like called, what is this, the Secret Center palette. And here's what it looks like. I absolutely loved this one. Unfortunately, P. Louise did start selling mink lashes, which I'm, I try to only buy from brands who don't do that, but I did think that this palette was really, really pretty, and I loved the looks that I did with it, and I thought it was inspiring, but it's also, like, the chunkiest palette ever. Okay, next I have the Ace Beauté Blossom Passion Palette, another one I don't love the formula of, but it is such a pretty pinky red palette. I don't know why I'm not decluttering these, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I have the Nomad Cosmetics, I think this was with Mar Marrakesh palette or something? Yes, Marrakesh. And this is what it looks like. I got this forever ago and I was definitely kind of underwhelmed by these shadows. They're just not my personal preference. Very, very soft. I think I am going to go ahead and kind of see if I can take the packaging out of that and reuse the box because it is so beautiful. So I'm like partially decluttering the insides of that palette. Okay, next I have the Suba Beauty Protégé palette, and I love the packaging on this one. I think it's super artsy. There's what it looks like, and I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. I feel like this is slowly becoming more and more of a declutter. And next I have the Glaminatrix Cosmetic Sandra Rose palette. I absolutely love this one. Such a beautiful color story. Love the formula. So I have the Ofra Pro palette, and this is the Bright Lights Edition which I've talked about before on my channel, and I just don't think it was worth the price. Not all of these shadows are all that great, but I still think I paid like $50 for this, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it for now. Okay, next I have this cute little palette from Butter London. I love the packaging on this one. This is, don't know what it's called. It came in a boxy charm. That's what it looks like. I think I'm gonna declutter that again. My mom, I'm going to be like, do you want all this makeup? And she's going to be like, no, stop giving me makeup. I have the Meat Matte Nude Palette, which is like the mirror is completely broken. And I really should put tape over that just to protect the eyeshadows. And this is super old. Like so, so old. It's not even funny. Like I should get rid of it. But 
it's quite sentimental and I actually did go ahead and get rid of some of my sentimental makeup finally because I've just been like, holding on to things and I'm having like a Marie Kondo moment which is probably hard to believe when you look at this but I have been throwing things away and getting rid of things and whatnot so but I think I'm gonna keep this one I can't help it okay next I have the give me glow cosmetics juicy olive palette another favorite I just absolutely love this color story okay next I have the menagerie whale song palette absolutely love this I will not be getting rid of any palettes from menagerie I have the Certify Affinity palette, which if you were tempted by that new Jaclyn Hill palette, I know it's not that new actually, this is kind of old news at this point, but this is such a similar color story from an indie brand and the packaging is super cute on this one. Next I have the Max Up The Makeup Sweater Weather palette and I love Max Up The Makeup. I've got a few other palettes that I'll mention as we go through, but this was more of like a neutral with like a pop of red and a pop of green, their fall palette. And I really like that one for what it is. I mean, it's not my exact personal preference, but I really like their formula. Very, very easy to work with. All right, I've got a bunch of five pan palettes from Dose of Colors. We've got the Sassy Siennas, which just looks like this. And I do actually reach for these from time to time. I really like the formula of them. We've got the Blushing Berries, and I just feel like they're such an easy, like everything you need for a matte look all together. And then I'll just pull in something separate. This is the, what was this called? This is the Snow Angel palette, and I just love adding, like, an extra really textured shadow, like something from an indie brand on top. This is the Marvelous Mobs palette, which was one of the originals. And then the other OG was the Baked Browns palette. Very soft shadows, but I personally don't mind that. All right, next we have the Morphe and James Charles palette. Definitely going to declutter this, even though I do like the formula. Wow. <laughs> I just think my little sister will freak out a little bit because as she's always making references to James Charles. She's always walking in and saying, hi sisters, whatever, even though I technically am her sister. So it makes, it works, it works. But I think that she will be very happy about that. Next I have the Ace Beauté Paradise Fallen palette, which is a little bit more of a cool tone purple palette. Again, very, very pretty. And then I have the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. And I never really love this one as much as everyone else did unfortunately I thought the quality was good but the color story I don't know I think that I need to give it a second chance definitely I'm not getting rid of it because the quality is amazing okay next I have another Morphe palette and this is the 15s palette I thought this color story was pretty but even though I liked the mattes the shimmers were definitely lacking for me I'm going to declutter that my throat oh my gosh my voice already <laughs> Okay, next I have another Makeup Revolution palette, which I'm going to declutter. This is the Ro Reloaded Passion for Color, and I did like some of these shades. I remember using them and doing quick looks with my finger, and they're fine, but I just have things I prefer more. Okay, next I have another palette from Suva Beauty, and this is their Trick or Treat palette. It was like a hollo Halloween palette forever ago, like maybe from like 2015, <laughs> maybe 2016, but that's what it looks like. And then I have the Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette, which I'm going to declutter because it has pressed glitter and it's just not my personal preference. Okay, next I have the NYX Ultimate Shadow palette, and I did not really like this one. Uh, the sad thing is I actually bought a second one for a giveaway, and I haven't given it away because I didn't even like the one that I bought. So it's like, does anyone actually want to win something that I don't even like? I don't know, but I'm going to declutter this one. All right, next I have the Venus 2 palette from Lime Crime, which looks... <laughs> like this and it's a really pretty grungy color story and then I have the original Venus palette which is a very pretty pinky color story I have the dream street palette from Kathleen lights and color pop and I do really like this one hit pan on one of the shades I have the Dominique cosmetics lemonade palette and I love this one actually I've been reaching for it a lot recently and I'm kind of sad that it was limited edition and not available anymore because I really love this color story and then I have the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe palette, and really love this one. Definitely, definitely not getting rid of that ever. Okay, next I have the Blush Tribe Neon Dreams palette. No longer available, and also, hmm, I was thinking of maybe decluttering this, but I really don't have any other neon, so I feel like I should keep this just in case I want to pop ever. And then I have... The Blush Tribe Hasina palette, which I am going to go ahead and declutter. Just looks like this. Because I have the Menagerie Violet Ink palette, 
which is a cute little six pan purple color story. Next I have the Pure Midnight Masquerade palette. This came in a boxy charm and it had like a little face palette and the eyeshadows, which I didn't think any of this was really bad, but it's just not something I reach for. So I'm going to declutter it. <laughs> And then I have the Maybe Cosmetics Take Me to Tokyo palette. I really love my Maybe Cosmetics palettes. Here's what this one looks like. Super, super cute. And then the Juvia's Place Violets palette, which I will definitely be keeping as well. Next, I have the Love Lux Beauty Something Gorgeous palette, which I didn't super love the formula of this, but I am going to go ahead and hold on to it. I have the Viseart Matte Neutrals. Definitely keeping that because that was expensive. I have the Violet Voss Sweet Violet palette. I think I'm gonna hold on to that one as well. I have the Ofra Cosmetics Radiant Eyes palette and honestly I think I'm gonna get rid of this one just because it's very very neutral and it's all like satins. Okay next I have the Nudes palette from Juvia's Place. I have the Warrior palette from Juvia's Place. I'm gonna kind of run through these because I just did a ranking all of my Juvia's Place palettes. The Saharan 2 palette. And then I have the Alter Ego Sahara palette, and I, <laughs> I love the packaging of this, and I love the idea of this, but I still haven't used it. I'm literally a mess. Oh, I shouldn't even included it, because I have a bunch of palettes I haven't used, which I wasn't including in my palette collection. So if you want to see a separate video on, like, my unused palettes, because I'm a mess and I have a problem, let a girl know. But here's what that one looks like, and it's really pretty. I feel like I'm going to like it. I just haven't used it yet. So I <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm going to put that to the side and use it very soon. My camera's dying. So I'm going to change that and I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Next I have the Alondra Desi and Glam Light palette. I really love this one. It's a beautiful, warm, neutral color story. Then I have my Modern Renaissance with Anastasia, which looks like this. And honestly, I could live without this one, but at the same time, I kind of want to keep it because it's my only, <laughs> my only proof that I could ban a palette, <laughs> which probably will not happen again. But next I have the Midas Cosmetics and Smoky Glow palette, which is super, super beautiful as well. Love this color story. Okay, next I have the Milan Row Iconic Couture palette, which is cute, but I wasn't I don't know, I felt like this formula was a little bit hard to use because the mattes were so, so, so powdery and the shimmers like moved around. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I'm torn on what to do with that one. It's cute. Maybe I'll, 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 maybe I'll give it another chance. I'm so bad. Okay, next I have the Elysian palette from Copacetic Cosmetics in collaboration with Basket Case Beauty. And then I have the Midas Cosmetics Lemonade Palette, which is such a nice yellow palette. I really like that one. All right, I've got two different little quads here from Shade Beauty. We've got the Nightshade, which is a little bit darker, really sparkly shades. Love that they're all together in one. And then I have the Big Top Palette, which is lighter, super sparkly shades. And then another palette from Maybe Cosmetics here. This is the Take Me to Istanbul Palette, which looks <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm a mess. I feel super weird doing, like, I normally do everything on this side. Does it matter? Can I go back to the other side? I'm just going to do that because it feels more natural. Okay, so here is the Latte 2 palette from Dominique Cosmetics. Really love this. This is a neutral palette that I very much enjoy. Okay, next I have the It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop. And I really, really love that one. I have the NYX Ultimate Multi-Finish Shadow Palette, and what is this? This is the Electric. This is a little bit newer, and I did really like the bottom row, but I just don't see this being a palette that I'm going to reach for a ton, so I think I'm going to declare that one as well. And then I have the Love Lux Beauty Something Fun Palette, which looks like this. I have the Makeup Slave Autumn Equinox Palette, which I thought this was such a cute color story. Again, I don't really know what they're doing. <laughs> But I'm still here for this palette, even though it's a little bit older. And then I have the ColourPop uh -huh Honey Palette with one ugly glitter removed, <laughs> in my personal opinion. So, yeah. Okay, we've got the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. The Nomad by Juvia's Place. 
the Saharan Blush Volume 2, which I don't know why I'm showing you that because it's not even supposed to be here. It's because I've been using it as an eyeshadow palette instead of a blush palette. And then I have the Magic palette as well. Okay, next I have the Nabla Cutie palette, the Wild Berry one, which just looks like this. I have the Shroud Cosmetics Creepy Cute, which this is one of my favorite palettes. That's what it looks like. The Nomad Cosmetics Harajuku palette. And then the Glam Light Masterpiece palette. Which honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Even though it's like kind of sentimental because I remember when I got this in PR from Glam Light and like no one knew who they were and now they've completely blown up. So it's kind of cool like seeing their story over time, but it's just not a color story that I really reach for. Okay, next I have the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals palette, another one of my favorites. I have the Menagerie Pastel Pup. The Natasha Nona Lila palette. The Certified Tropical Wonders, which I love this one. Such a good rainbow matte palette. The Gimme Glow Cosmetics Vintage Rose palette. This looks like this. And then my favorite neutral palette of all time, the Natasha Nona Gold palette. Next I have the Saharan by Juvia's. Just looks like that. And then the original Nubian. The Milani, what were you? This is their their green palette. I can't remember what this name is called. I definitely thought that this was a little bit more on the soft side. Not bad for something you could just go into Walmart and grab if you were looking for some green tones, but not my absolute favorite. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass that on as well. And then I have the Malika palette from Blush Tribe, which I'm also going to be decluttering. And then I have the Blush Tribe Paulina palette, which I will definitely be keeping. It just looks like that. Okay, next I have my Viseart Editorial Mattes Palette. Keep being. The Ace Beauté Grand Wa Palette, which looks like this. And again, the struggle is real with this formula, but I don't really care about this color story, so I think I'm going to pass that one along. And then I have the Baby Bat Beauty, what was this called? This was the um, Knox Palette. Oh, that's what it says right there. <laughs> Here's what this one looks like. A really cool color story, and I really liked the mattes in here, but the shimmers were a little bit missed for me. And then I have the Celestial Thunder palette from Dominique Cosmetics, which I don't think I ever even used this one on my eyes. It was in a boxy charm. That's how I got that one. Okay, next we have the Juvia's Nubian 2, the Juvia's Festival. and the Masquerade. Okay, next I have the Elf times Jkissa to the Rescue palette, which I do really like some of the shades in here. It's not my perfect palette, but it is cute. And then I have the Sugar Pill Fun Size palette. The mirror kills me every time on that one. The Natasha Nona Love palette. And then the Natasha Nona Sunrise palette. And we have the Glam Light Cake palette, <laughs> which just looks like this. Ooh, I do have the Glam Light Pizza palette, but it's in the other room. I'm not going to go get it, but I do have that one as well. Okay, next I have the Blush Tribe Blossom palette. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. I have the Blush Tribe Sonia Zarin palette, which I really like that one, so I'm going to keep it. And then I have the Fall Fusion palette, which again is super nice. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep that one. The Colored Rain Safari Rain, which is such an amazing palette. One of my top favorites. The Lime Crime Venus 3, which of all the Lime Crime palettes I have, this is definitely the one that I like the most and that I've used the most. It's really, really pretty. And then I have the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette, which is a really great quality one as well. Next, I have the Odin's Eye Salmine eyeshadow palette, and this is actually what I have on my eyes today, mixed with something else that I'll mention eventually, but these are the matte shades that I'm using. That's definitely my newest palette. I just used that for the first time today. And then I have the Glam Light Miracle palette, which again, I absolutely love this one. Love Glam Light's formula. 
I have palettes falling, but I also have this soft glam right here, which I only bought this and the Norvina palette because I got them 50% off because I had a friend who worked at Ulta who scored the deal for me. And then I have the Cutie palette from Nabla in the shade Coral. Okay, next I have the Natasha Nona Metropolis palette. The Maybe Cosmetics Take Me to Paris, which this one is so, so cute. Absolutely love this one. And then the Hasina 2 from Blush Tribe, which I will be keeping because this is one of my favorite color stories of all time. And then I have the Violet Voss Ride or Die palette, and I used to be Ride or Die for this one. I just thought it was like the perfect palette for someone who loved neutrals because you could go warmer, you could go cooler, but I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one just because it's so big and I literally never use it anymore. I've got some Wet n Wild palettes here that are super old, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. I've got the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels, and I bought this honestly just because CoverGirl... CoverGirl went cruelty free and I wanted to try them because I hadn't used them in years and I'm gonna pass that along because it doesn't really do anything for me. Okay, next I have the Menagerie Killer Purr palette. I have the Menagerie Feral palette. Looks like this. The Charmed palette from Solo Look. I have the Blue Royal palette from Clarity Cosmetics, which I am tempted to declutter because I really don't love this one, even though it's pretty new. Hmm, I think I'm going to keep it for now, but if I do come across someone who's like, I love it, like a friend or something, I'm, I'm going to be like, take it. And then I have the Caliente palette from Glamlight, which is a little bit more colorful. And then I have the Slush Palette from September Rose Cosmetics, which looks like this. Okay, next I've got two palettes from Pinky Rose. And honestly, I kind of regret buying these because I never use them that much. This is the Obsessed Palette. And here's what it looks like. It's cute, but I don't know why I never gave them the time of day they deserved. This is the 80s Baby Palette from Pinky Rose. And then I've got my Naked palettes here. This is the Naked Cherry, which literally I've never used on my eyes. I'm sorry. It's the truth. It's the truth. I only paid 27 cents for it because of Ulta rewards, but I still, I should have bought it. And then I have the Naked Heat palette, which I really love this one. It's one of my favorite, like, neutral, warm palettes. I just feel like the formula is super easy to use. Really like the mattes in there. And then I have the Naked Smoky palette, which for me, this is the only gray palette that I'll ever need. I just, I'm, because I own this, I'm not tempted by anything else. That is a great tone palette, I should add. Okay, next I have the Dragon Child palette from Menagerie Cosmetics, which looks like this. The Nomad Cosmetics and Tilly's palette, which is so, so cute. Love the packaging on that one. Then I have two palettes from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics. This is the Dragon Prism Original palette, and then the Luxury Chrome Bow palette. That pink is falling out. Okay, next I have the Lilac You A Lot palette from ColourPop, which I absolutely love this one. It's definitely one of my favorites that they've done. And then I have the Exotic Pop palette from King Beauty. And I'm definitely going to be decluttering this one. I just... It's just too much. Okay, next I have the Kaylon Cosmetics Achilles palette, which is super cool. Here's what this one looks like. It has a nice kind of cool tone, colorful vibe to it, and I think it's super, super pretty. Then I have the Morphe 35O, which I talked about recently. What was it? What video was it? It was some palette tag or something, and I just need to get that out of my life immediately. I bought that years ago, and I just found it again recently. I couldn't believe I still had it. And then I have the Sample Beauty Paradigm Shift Palette which looks like this, and I am definitely going to use this on my channel soon because Sample Beauty is no longer selling wink lashes, so I am all about trying them now because I bought that not realizing that they sold them, and it was a whole thing I felt guilty about. But next I have the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, which I love the original edition, so I'm going to hold on to that. And then I have the 35i Icy Fantasy palette, and I think I'm going to declutter that one. I just don't need it. I have the Makeup Revolution Avocado Palette. This is actually really cute and honestly not bad quality at all. Love the color story of this one, so I'm going to keep that. And then I have the Moyer Cosmetics Wanderlust Palette, which looks like this. 
And I did enjoy the quality of this, but it's not something I've reached for recently, but I don't think I'm going to get rid of it. And then I have the Morphe 18B palette, which is my favorite palette that Morphe has done, so I'm going to hold on to that one. I have the Certify Affinity 2 palette, which looks like this. Super cute. Love the blues and greens. And then I've got a bunch of palettes from Kaleidos here. This is the Electro Turquoise palette. The VR Neon palette. And the Astro Pink palette. I have the ColourPop Just My Luck palette. Didn't realize how many of these dang little nine pan palettes I have from them. I did like that one actually a lot. And then I have the Focaler Secret palette, which is another cute little green pan. Green, 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 <laughs> green color story. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. It is way too late. And then I have the Flower Child palette from Max Up the Makeup which is super, super cute. Again, really love their quality. And the Ready, Set, Summer palette from Max Up the Makeup, which looks like this. And then also the Santorini, Take Me to Santorini palette from Maybe Cosmetics. Okay, I've got some more Juvia's Place here. We have the Berries palette, the Warrior, the Chocolates, the Zulu, the Queen palette, which I absolutely love this one. And then the Nubian 3 Coral. The Meat Matrimony palette from the Balm, which is really cute. And then I have two little bite sized palettes from e.l.f., which I have the uh, Hot Jalapeno, and then this one is like I Akai something. Oh, it says like Akai you? Oh, it's Asai. That's how it is. I Asai you? Like I see you? All right, next I've got a bunch of tiny little palettes here. This one technically is like a single palette, but it is a bunch of Wee Makeup shadows. And then I've got a little quad from Alien Cosmetics here, which that's the Angel quad. I've got the Just Blend It quad from Blush Tribe, which I think I'm going to declutter that one. And then I have the Dreamy quad from Alien Cosmetics and the Wild quad. I know I have another quad from them, but I'm not sure where it went. Okay, I have a little eyeshadow duo. Not doesn't really count as a palette, but I keep it with my palettes. This is the NARS times Christopher Kane. I bought this forever ago. I never use it, but for some reason it's sentimental. And then I have the Futurism One Cyber Bronze palette from Kaleidos. And then we've got the Natasha Nona Mini Lila and the Joya palette and the Camel palette from Natasha Nona. And then I have the Aries palette from Natasha Nuna. Juvia's Afrique. The Juvia's Duce. <laughs> and the Tribe from Juvia's. And then I have the Moira Sweet Paradise palette, which again, I like their formula, but this is just too big for me. I just don't need this all together as one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Right, last pile here. <laughs> Almost done other than a few things in my background. We have the Ace Beauté Scarlet Dusk palette, which I had a little bit easier time working with this one, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. I have the Aurora palette from Alter Ego, which I really like. The Queen palette from Girl Boss Cosmetics, which again I do like that one. It's a little bit neutral with a pop. The Moira Cosmetics Stargaze palette. And then I have the Bombshell Cosmetica ones I was telling you about. I have Hubba right here. And then also the Sour Blast one. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. And then I have my Paleo palette from Cleona Cosmetics. Which looks like this. And then I have the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Exotic Peacock palette. Which looks like this. The Dose of Colors. What were you called? This is the Friendcation palette. Such a pretty palette if you love like really textured shadows and like some just basic standard mattes. And then the Cleona Archeo palette. Oops, dropped a little piece, but there's what that one looks like. Okay, next I also have the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Vault, which I'm going to declutter. Okay, I'm pulling all the stuff that's out in the little thing behind me. I have the Sci-Fi Green palette here from Kaleidos, sorry. I have the Nomad Cosmetics Studio 54 little palette, the original Dose of Colors de times Desi times Katie <laughs> collaboration palette, 
the Linda Halberg Spectral Palette, which is such a pretty color story. Oh, I don't... Um... I also have the... <laughs> I have the Vita palette from Mel Cosmetics somewhere, but this one is the Morte palette, which looks like this. It is so beautiful. Love that color story. And then I also have the Sigma Cord Rosa palette. Wow. <gasps> Again, such a beautiful color story. I don't know where the Vita palette is hiding, but the last... Ooh, I have one up here too. Wow. Okay, I have the Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales palette, which I got in BoxyCharm cute little green color story and then last but not least is the Moonspell palette from Lunar Beauty which I do have in the case just because the whole packaging on this is too beautiful to not keep and there is what that one looks like all right that is my entire palette collection that was crazy but I do have a stack of palettes here that I'm going to be decluttering which feels good and I mean everybody's collection is different I love having options I love being able to compare things and I love makeup, so this is just what works for me. You might be different. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.